Hi friends and welcome to our channel. I'm Amber. I'm Paul. And we are Living the Do Life. Today we're going to show you some things we did on the outside of the Airstream and we're going to show you how we set up our campsite. This is going to include upgrades, optional add-ons, campsite setup and accessories, and security. First, let's talk about upgrades. I purchased stainless steel covers from the Airstream store to replace the plastic covers on the outside of the Airstream. shower on or I got the grandkids they don't have to mess with it they can wash off after they go swimming or, or when they get muddy outside a while back I was on air forms and uh, they were showing me some storage they had in the uh, propane compartment and uh, I decided I would do it too this is what it looks like this way I'm able to put my propane hoses for my accessories. I just store them in here. It's nice and handy. And I can still turn propane tanks off and I can still see my gauge. Another thing we did was put a soft start on our AC so we can use a smaller generator. This is another option that we did. Bike rack on the Airstream will hold e-bikes because of weight wise. So I installed this box to hold my uh, leveling blocks, chalks and stuff like that. Now let's talk about our campsite setup and accessories. When pulling into a campsite, you don't know if it's level or not. So I used the LevelMate Pro to uh, get an idea how much how unlevel it is. LevelMate has an app and it is Bluetooth. So I saw it in the front compartment in my Airstream. That way when I'm pulling into a campsite, I can see how unlevel and level my trailer is from the inside of my truck. These are the leveling blocks, the stuff I use on the Airstream. These here are easy levelers. When you pull it to the campsite, if it's unlevel side to side, put these underneath the tire and you just back on. So when it comes level, I use the leveling mate, pro mate. So when it hits zero, I stop. Then I it. I have two of these, one for each tire on one side. These are stabilizer blocks, one of them I have. I have five of these. I use one under the tongue when I disconnect the truck and hook it up. I also have 10 of these. These are also for stabilizers. And the other thing I carry, you have a flat when you're on the road. It's called an easy jack. You put one under the good tire you drive on, on the side, and you just pull up 
and it'll bring the other tire off the ground so you can replace it. To keep the Airstream from rolling and rocking from end to end, you always use chalks, but we like to use the X chalk. All right, let's hook up the utilities on the Airstream. One of the things I do when I sit up is I hook my water filter up from my fresh water here. I use the uh, big water filter. Also carry the little hose water filter for camping in case this ever breaks or bust or anything like that. I carry extra with me just in case. Because I don't want sand or something from the well going inside my trailer. Another thing I do is put a Y on the faucet. This is my fresh water going to, my air, to the airstream. This is the water hose I hook up. So I can do extra things like wash things off or whatever. And also a good thing it does is uh, when you disconnect and when you're leaving, you can turn the water off, open this up, and let the pressure off the hose so it's, you don't get squirted when you disconnect the water hose from the airstream. On the sewer, I use the Rhino Flex. It's better than the cheap sewer hoses that you buy. They last a little longer a lot more flexible. Uh, I use the slinky for it, so that way when I drain the tanks, uh, especially when I'm sitting in one spot for more than a week, every week I just empty the tanks. And it's just easy flow, don't have to lift it up trying to get the sewer out. Also use a clear inlet, outlet, so that you, when you clean it out, you can see if it's clean water or dirty water going, going in. Also flush the black tank out every time I empty it. The other thing that you do need is a surge protector for the electricity. I got a 50 amp and 30 amp. I have a 50 amp here. You got two ACs, it's 50 amp. One AC is usually 30 amp. So when setting up the outside, we also have the standard outside rug, chairs, a little table so that we can sit and enjoy the outside. I also have a tablecloth cover. It's cloth. I bought a plastic cover to put up with little clips. And then we bought something to turn our outside propane tanks into little side tables as well. And of course, we always keep extra chairs for guests. These tank covers for the propane tanks outside, the extra ones, they are so cool. When we have company over and we put out extra chairs, we roll these over and it has a hard top on it so it just turns it into a little table. Multi-purpose, love it. Living in Texas, you always want shade, so you always want the awning out. So a friend of ours, camping buddy of ours, Ron, he gave me an idea he used a concrete block to anchor his awning down, which in some parks, like this park here, where we're at now, there's nowhere to put an auger in the ground. So he used a concrete block to anchor his awning down. So I come up with an idea using a uh, kettle weight, and it works pretty good. This cooler we got from Costco's. We literally just bought it yesterday. I think the day before. Maybe the day before. But anyway, you get you can plug it into 110, or you can plug it into a cigarette lighter. And it's also got a place for a solar panel. And it also has its own battery. Battery supposed to last, supposed to be, they say last seven hours, but I guess it depends on how cold you got it. And I set this the other day at 46, and I reset it again this morning, I brought it down to 42 degrees. It fluctuates uh, about five degrees either way. So it's 44 degrees inside the cooler right now, and it's about 94 degrees outside right now and it's also got a handle and wheels on the back side so you can roll it to wherever you want to go it also has a phone usb port right here we can charge your phone or any other little device you have and it also has an app 
Bluetooth, which you can control it. And another good thing that I found out, you can lock the controls. So none of your kids or grandkids come over here and push buttons. Or like me, always putting my hand on it or something, pushing it. It won't change it because I got it locked out. It also has a bottle opener here. And it also has a light on the inside when you open it. Now this cooler is a 62 quart and it's pretty roomy on the inside. And we also can lock it up. So if you full time like we do, and especially if you full time in an Airstream and you have any RV that has a small refrigerator, a good deal of our camping life is going to get ice for a cooler. So this has been wonderful. Also, we're Thousand Trails members and so we don't pay electricity where we are and we're always on full hookups for the most part, but when we're not, we know we can use the solar and we can charge this cooler in the back of Paul's truck because he does have solar panels on the truck and so we can keep that battery charged. Definitely one of our favorite additions so far. For outside cooking, we use the Blackstone griddle. This is a 22 inch. I've had a gas grill, pellet grill, but I think this is our best favorite is a Blackstone griddle. I guess the reason why, because I can cook breakfast, lunch, and dinner, whatever I want to on it. The only thing I can't do is smoke on it. Griddle accessories. I use this box. It's a plain old box. And I, I just keep all my griddle accessories in there. Bachelor, warmer, thermometer. All that's in one place. That way, when we're uh, when we leave, just put it all in one spot, wrap it up, go in the back of the truck, and we're gone. Here in Texas, it gets hot, so we use fans too. I carry two fans with me. One is a little blower that I got from Costco's. It's a lot of air. And also use a battery operated one. It's also a misting fan. We uh, showed it on our video, one of our videos we did a while back in Conroe, Thousand Trails. It works real good. It can go on top of a bucket. Put this down in your bucket. It's got the pump where you can put the mist out. Or Pick water hose to it without even using the pump. That's what we like to do most of the time. It kind of saves on battery by using a water hose. That way you're just operating the fan itself. This little Bluetooth is awesome. So we love to sit outside and listen to music. Um, and we just like to be outside. I mean, this is the lifestyle that we, li we live, right? So we love to listen to music. And this Bluetooth, you can hook it on to almost anything. If you don't have your awning out, you can hook it on to something else. It's pretty awesome. And then of course, it just Bluetooths with your phone. Love this thing. Now for our cool nights, up, we use gas fire pit. We've had this one for about four years. It's been a good one. It's easy, lightweight, you throw it back in the truck and go with it. It's all gas. You've seen previously that I had the uh, extra full paint bottle. This is what we'll be using for, or I can hook it up to the uh, quick disconnect on the Airstream. Some campsites don't allow wood burning or you're going to burn ban, which the gas pit is all good because it doesn't put out ashes and stuff. So gas pit, they work great. Okay, that's it for the outside accessories. And now let's talk about security. We bought the real link cameras. They are uh, they're Wi-Fi compatible. You also have an app on your phone which you can get it 
from your phone. You can see the real time, the live. The phone also, I mean the phone, the camera also records. It's got the SD card in here. It records. So if you don't have Wi-Fi, at least you record what's happening. Now the phone, I'm still learning a lot on the phone. It's got a different different settings and stuff that you can use. Like this thing will alarm you, give you notifications that something's in front of, the, of it. And uh, you can, instead of getting notifications all day long, especially when you're home, you can turn it off or you can set it for certain times of the day. It also is motion sensor. It also has a spotlight, which you can have it auto, or you can turn it on manually, whichever you do want to do. Uh, I also got this clamp that did come with it. I bought this extra where I could clamp on my Ani. Works just like our speaker did. Uh, this fitting here is a quarter inch. Uh, you can also put camera on your photo camera, video camera on there, whatever you want to do. It works good for a security camera. When you have this uh, spotlight set to auto, at nighttime if you're walking up, the light will come on automatically like a spotlight. It will alert. It would also alert you on your phone. Plus, it would deter people sneaking around your RV out. Get them out. <laughs> Being we're traveling up all the time now, Having these cameras gives us a better sense of security, and especially at nighttime too, because you can't really see out the windows at night. If somebody comes knocking on your door, you turn your phone on, camera clicks on, you can see who's there. On the inside of the Airstream, we keep a Furbo camera. It's like a pet camera for Jaxi. Let us know when he's active. It also lets us know when somebody passes by or when somebody's on the inside the airstream. It gives us notifications that something's going on. So that been working real good for us too. So the last thing under security is our outside lighting. We have a lot of different lighting. Most of it is solar and does not have to get plugged in, but it does add to security at night when you have a well-lit area. It's safe not only as um, a preventative for intruders, but it also um, helps you because if you can't see at night, you're gonna trip over things and we're always in different environments, so always getting used to a different area. It really helps helps to have it lit up at night around our Airstream. On Airstream, there's limited lighting on the outside of the Airstream. You have this light, which doesn't put out, really, it's bright, but it doesn't put out much ground cover. You got the awning lights, but when you got it rolled up, you'll see them. And the only other light is the step light on the step. So I installed some boogie lights, and here's some clips from that. Now, I installed these boogie lights underneath the Airstream uh, about six inches in on the front of the Airstream. Uh, the kit came with some uh, uh, primer cleaner. So I cleaned it with alcohol, then used some primer on it, cleaned it real good, and then uh, built the tape back and set them where I wanted them. The boogie lights also come with a uh, remote control, and it also has an amp you could use two. You also could zone out one or two or you can do both of them at the same time, whichever you prefer. These are string solar lights that we had put out around the campground. The globes are plastic so they're not glass so they don't break. They also have solar panels which I just bungee strap up against the tree. I use bungee straps and lights, got little eyes put bungee straps in. Works out pretty good. Where we're at here, I got them strung along the trees. But in places that we don't have trees, uh, I'm ordering some uh, stakes that just stick over the ground for about, uh, about 36 inches. They got a hook on there. It comes in, I think, a set of 12, which I can string along the line. 
along the ground area. These are other solar lights. They stick in the ground with stakes. But in the area that we're in now, we don't have, uh, we have pavement and gravel. So a while back I built these. These are just fittings, PVC fittings that I bought from uh, Lowe's and Home Depot. And I just put them all together and it fits in there perfectly. And put them on the table, set them on the ground, move them around if I want to. On the bottom, it's got a plug. What I did, I filled it up with cement, put the plug back on, and give it some weight. So harder to knock over. So another little lighting outside we got are these, if you can see it. And we just kind of sit them around, kind of away from the area where we are because it attracts mosquitoes. And we know it works because there's a little trap door that you can pull open to dump out the mosquito bodies and put it back in. And so they do work. Um, and it also adds light. It's the same as our other ones in that it has a flickering kind of candle looking light and it adds a really pretty look to the outside at night as well. So here is a few clips of what our campsite looks like at night when all of our solar lights are glowing beautifully. It's absolutely beautiful with all the lights on outside. It also adds to the security because it's so well lit. But it's comforting, it's inviting. We love to have company and just sit out at night and enjoy these beautiful surroundings. We hope you guys liked this video and maybe got some ideas. Now we are aware that everybody has, I mean it really is a personal preference, right? Some people are super simplistic and minimalistic about their outside setup in the way that they travel. And some people travel with a whole separate vehicle full of stuff and have way more than we do. It's very much a personal preference and it also depends on the storage that you have in however you're traveling with whatever rig or vehicle you're traveling with. Um, just to let you know, we are going to do a future video on how we store a lot of our outside items and items in general in the camper shell of Paul's truck and how he organized that because he really has organized that well. So stay tuned for that later down the road. If you got any questions or if you have any good ideas for us, please let us know. We all look for good ideas. Yes, please leave a comment below because we love to hear from you. And we don't know everything. I mean, we've been full-time living for a lot of years, but we're very new to full-time traveling. So if you've got any tips or tricks for us, please leave them in the comments below. We would love to hear from you. And again, if you have not subscribed to our channel, please do. We would love for you to be part of our Living the Do Life family. Leave a comment. If you like this video and it was helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up. We would appreciate it. And again, leave a comment, leave a comment, leave a comment. I love to read those. <laughs> Thank you all for watching and we'll catch you down the road. And don't forget to live simply, dream big, and do life. We love you all. Bye.